I have a headache. I have a backache. I'll rub your back. I'll give you head. What? What? Where'd you get that fairy floss? A fairy floss fairy. Hi boys. Are you enjoying your fairy floss? Would you like some more directly from the source? Yeah. Coming right up. Thanks fairy floss fairy. Oh, I'm not fairy floss fairy. I'm his assistant. Yo, what's good, dude? What's up, bro? Yo, we're getting beers after work. You in? Yeah, sure. Let's go, baby. See you. <laughs> I'm surprised you showed up, huh? Yo, you game it all? Yeah, a little bit. All right, add me. Let's run it later. Let's do it. All right, let's get it. <laughs> this guy! They haven't fired you yet, bro? Nah, nah. <laughs> Woo! What are you working on? Oh, this is my stuff, bro. Let me help you out. Okay, babe, you're about to meet a family. Just a heads up, my brother's really s**t. My dad is really s**t. And my mom is really ho okay? Well, I'm a straight white male, babe. Why would any of that be a problem? Touche. Hey there, son. You must be Alex. Nice to meet you. Glad Jessica finally brought home one of our own. <laughs> yeah, and good thing he's a man, too, right? Someone that can actually drive? <laughs> yeah. In 1994, the U.S. military actually considered building a gay bomb. <laughs> Researchers at the Wright Laboratory in Ohio, a predecessor to, day, to today's United States Air Force Research Laboratory, began exploring some alternative options. What existed, they asked, that would distract or delude a soldier long enough to mount an attack without causing the soldier any bodily harm. They put together a three-page proposal. I said it has in the fast bent. Fuck out of here, you dumb bitch. In which they detailed their $7.5 million invention, the gay bomb. The gay bomb would be a cloud of gas that would discharge over enemy camps that contained a chemical that would cause enemy soldiers to become gay and to have their units break down because all their soldiers became irresistibly attractive to one another. <laughs> they think that if everybody just became gay, they, they would stop. just totally be distracted about this whole war thing well, so and just want to f So, who's the girl? There is no girl. Does this shirt make me look gay? No, man. What about now? A romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete without... My balls in your face. When marimba rhythm starts... That's what she said. And you know what? I... What was that? Okay, James. White boyfriend never locking door. Mexican boyfriend always locking them. We live in a gated community, not the ghetto. Someone's gonna rob us. Or I could fake a robbery. That insurance money. The baddest alive. He know the pretty is bitch to income until I arrive. You good? Are you gay? Mama, it's lip balm. The last thing is that lesbian bars are just less fun. No. Oh, no, no, I just meant, no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, no, I didn't mean, I meant like, for me. Parents of gay kids need to stop assuming that their kid is dating their best friend. Naturally, I wasn't the only gay kid in my friend group, but my friend was out and I was not. Her parents just decided for no reason that we were secretly dating. I'm assuming mostly based off of the fact that I wore flannels every day of my life. They decided we weren't allowed to hang out alone together. And this had no basis in truth. It probably didn't help that we wore matching rings or would talk on the phone for three hours and text each other every night before bed. Yeah, her parents knew I was gay before I did.
This is ridiculous. Only babies and ex-junkies are afraid of needles. Stick me, Chuckles. <laughs> Can I have a lollipop? As a blind person, what's the most romantic thing someone's ever done to you? Okay, so I was dating this guy. Yeah. He invited me over to his apartment for the weekend. Ooh. Yeah, it was a sleepover. Gonna get lucky. <laughs> he did the most romantic thing for me. Box of dark chocolate. Nope, more romantic than that. Rose petals on the bed and towels folded like swans. <laughs> this is not a cruise. He had replaced every single light bulb with 100 watt light bulbs. Yeah, because like I need more light in my eyes. And so he like understood that already. And we'd only been dating for like a few weeks. That's a keeper. I know. I hope you kept him. So Sometimes I wonder what happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was you. That was almost seven years ago. Damn. It's still the most romantic oh, thing you've ever no, done. No. <laughs>that's a problem if 100 percent of the time you'd rather be hanging out with your boys than paying any attention to your girlfriend you probably shouldn't be dating her you should be dating your boy Three really weird gay facts that'll make you smarter than your history teacher. And the last one's a bit dirty. Leonardo da Vinci was arrested for gay sex twice. If he was found guilty, we wouldn't have the Mona Lisa because they would have killed him. In the 1970s, the state of Connecticut refused to give a gay man a driver's license because they said being gay made him too dangerous to other drivers. Okay, this one is dirty. In the 1700s, a lesbian put a leather horn in her pants and disguised herself as a man so nobody would punish her for hooking up with women. She also used that leather horn as a funnel to urinate standing up. Whoever sent you this video wants you to know that they are in fact gay and they have a sneaking suspicion that you are too. Can I have my sweater back? Can I have my virginity back? Oh, if I do not find somebody soon, I'll blow up. Little secret, bald person to bald person. Oh! Men think that this is the female gaze. No, that's Chris Hemsworth. Female gaze are called lesbians. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Michelle Obama. Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. I'm vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Yeah, and I'm bisexual. What?
Why did you say that? What? I, I thought we were just speaking our truths. Did you not know? No, I, I could have helped. Problem with me being bi? No, damn it! Don't you understand? Being a superhero is more about fighting crime. It's about discipline, about fighting urges as you're pounding on another man, night after night, trying not to kiss him on the lips. I guess what I'm trying to say is, sometimes I like two fingers in the bat cave. Can you help me set up a grinder account? Maybe having sex with men is actually the straightest thing you can do. Like you're so straight that you fuck men. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. That turn you on? Well, it shouldn't, cause that's my side boob. Hey, you look really pretty today. Oh yeah, you think so? Don't you think I look pretty every day? Are you calling me fat? You're calling me fat, aren't you? I can't believe you'd say something like that. You literally just lied to my face. I. You're so sweet, thank you. What just happened? Women are crazy if you don't blow their cartridges. That seems kind of sexist. Sexist? Guys get their discs clean all the time. Disc. Uh, can you rub it? You would like us to focus in on today. Um, I don't like being around people. People make me nervous. Terrence, can you find an example of when other people have made you nervous? I don't like to take the bus. I get people staring at me all the time. People are always judging me. Okay. I'm gay. I deduced that Kira is homophobic. Huh? Dressed then. So, you're a top? Crap, I didn't think of this. Does Elle think Kira's a top? A killer would be. Clearly, Kira is a bottom in denial. If Light says he likes to top, if I say I want to top, it'll prove I'm Kira. Kira. I'm a bottom. So, what about warm up? Clearly, Kira wouldn't have the time for foreplay. I don't have time. Hey, Light! I. What the. Not, Not now. now! Get out! Last person to look at me like that was the captain. And I asked her to marry me. So, you know. Don't say I didn't warn you. A toxic a syndrome is when you're d whipped. And when you're d whipped, you're willing to look over past, you know, red flags. And just because, you know, he knows how to. It's really just when you let a b fly just because you think their b is good. It's when you're stigmatized. Have you been stigmatized? No. Oh, you might be the stigmatizer. What's wrong, sis? I need a blanket. You do? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, sissy? Why are you crying? Because I need a blanket. You do? My anxiety manifests itself as insomnia, so to combat that insomnia, I got a white noise machine, but my husband doesn't like it when I call him that. Now, okay, okay. All right, chill out, relax. People hear that joke and they think white husband, how white is he? Cryptocurrency white. He is 
People, they'll, they'll be like, oh, Jay, you've been dating this white guy for so long. You married this white guy. Do you feel like your blackness has been affected? That's when I have to stop them. I go, listen, I'm from Mississippi. My mother and my grandmother saw civil rights happen in real time. I was born black. I'm going to die black because that's how I feel most days. And then some days I'm like, ooh, baby, we should get a birthday cake for the dog. <laughs> oh, cheese sandwiches again. I swear to God, if I get these one more time, then I'm jumping off this building. The same thing with meat and corned beef. I tell you, if I get this one more time, I'm jumping with you. Jam sandwiches again. If I get these again, then I'm jumping with you guys. Cheese again. I don't believe it. I wasn't joking. See you, lads. And wouldn't you believe it? Corned beef. Hold up, matey. I'm coming with you. Jam sandwiches again. Goodbye, cruel world. It's all just so tragic. Why didn't he say he was bored of cheese? I know. If he didn't want corned beef, I would have made him something else. Well, I don't understand it. The idiot made his own sandwiches. How mask for mask guys on Grinder think they sound. I'm just going to leave this guy a voice message. <clears throat> hey, bro, this is Dom Top 69. I'd like to come over and wreck you. Yeah. All right, let me hear that back. How they actually sound. Hey, sister, this is Dom Bottom 69. And I'd like to come over like a wrecking ball. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to delete my profile. What if I broke your sword? I'll get a new one. What if I threw out your hair dye? I'm fine going natural for a while. What's going on here? Jesus! <sighs> Forget you're a ninja. I'm trying to make Rengoku mad. Why? Igoro bet me 20 bucks I couldn't do it. What if I spit in your face? I always carry moist toilets on me. You'd have better luck convincing Tanjiro to litter. This is impossible. Uh, what if I cut off your arm? I have another one. Dude, just give up. You can't do this. Shut up, you stupid meathead! What are your thoughts on Elon Musk? I think he's an idiot. <laughs> I think he's an idiot too. He's like really ugly too, like... I think he's sexy, but to each their own. <laughs> Don't scream. Huh? If you ever disrespect my best buddy like that again, I'll make you forget what it's like to eat solid food. Do I make myself clear? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Now sleep tight. Hey bro, what's los? Why are you so spät noch hier draußen? Man, it's nervt mich einfach, man. Jeder meint, ich laufe wie eine Frau. Okay, warum? Zeig her, man. You know, I pulled you over. I don't know, did you already forget? <laughs> Get out the car, spread your butt cheeks, and put your teeth on the curb. What? Thanks for letting me stay, bro. It's okay, bro. Welcome. Bro, what is that? Relax, we just did a move. Oh, okay. There's like this weird, you know, straight people are trying it now. It's called pegging. But there's this weird. Sorry, you have bottoms? I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Man, this look pretty good, man. Where your clothes at? <laughs> I love seeing what guys put in their dating profiles. There was this one guy and all his profile said was, ass ready to be pounded hard. <laughs> Only by serious people. <laughs> Could you imagine some guy shows up and he's like, hey, I'm uh, here to pound ass. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> First guy's like, you're far too silly to pound this ass. <laughs> Be gone. Do you know that straight men can have sex with men and not be gay? What? Who is having that conversation? Hold up, hold up. My mother left my sister and myself at a bus stop when I was three. <laughs> See, Andrews, I think about you all the time, especially in the morning at the bus stop. Oh! oh, oh, oh. That's funny. Tell another one. Yeah. <laughs>
This whole gender-neutral pronoun, it's very confusing, you know? The other day I invited a friend to have dinner at my house, and he was like, oh, I'm bringing a friend. And I said, bring him. And he was like, no, 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 bring them. So I bought a lot of food. <laughs> I bought briskets and pizzas and pastas. My friend show up at my house with one person. And I said, where are they? And he said, they are here. So you tell them that they are going to eat all of this food right now. afraid to tell your friends that you love them. Brandon, I love you. Me too, bro. See, we ain't afraid to tell the world that we lovers. Bro, delete that. Delete that right now. You can't delete my love, Brandon. Delete that. My PP is really hard right now. Oh. Your PP is really hard? Yeah. What are you doing? My PP is hard. Your PP? What? It's gonna touch you. Your PP? Uh, don't worry about it. Let's go. Your what? penis is hard? Uh, yes. That'll be good. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. That'll be absolutely good. <laughs> Excellent. People are just gay now because it's trendy. Otherwise, we'd see loads of old gay people, wouldn't we? Or, hear me out, it's the lack of older gay people. Because many were murdered for being gay. Many died from government inaction during the AIDS crisis. Many committed suicide because of homophobia. Or many were still in the closet because of a homophobic society. All right, look, I'll do whatever you want. I just, I, 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 I can't afford a ticket. I'll do whatever. You said whatever, huh? Yeah, whatever. Listen, I need all the big chested men to run to ASOS and buy one of their cutout shirts. Y'all are so damn lucky that I'm an impulsive shopper. I bought like four shirts that are actually crazy. And I'm so excited. Let's dive right in. <laughs> Option one. Holy sh I mean, that's kind of hilarious. It's really just an insane shirt. It looks like something some dude would wear in an anime. And I'm not mad at that. So I would give it a six and a half out of 10. My God, I knew this one was gonna be crazy. Holy I'm just obsessed with the two buttons and then the humongous gaping titty hole. Like the designers, like men are craving business casual and tits. How can we merge the two? Imagine I wear this to a job interview. Either I'm getting the job right away or they are getting a restraining order against me. Honestly, I'm a big fan of this shirt. Eight out of 10, it's so camp. Can I get to the Love this one it makes absolutely no sense i mean there's a peekaboo which i thought the story of a peekaboo was like i bet you're wondering what's under the shirt and then it answers its own question so i don't understand it, it's it's hilarious it feels like a brillo pad and it absolutely doesn't protect you at all from the elements 10 out of 10 it's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> This one surprised me. I genuinely really like this one. I just love it. I feel like a character in Mortal Kombat. What sold me on top of the titty hole? The thumb holes. You can't beat a f thumb hole. I love it. I love it. I would give this one actually a 10 out of 10 because I might wear this one. Maybe I'll wear it tonight. See you out at the clubs, boys. Peekaboo. Oh God, reel it in, bro. Sugar babes? Hello? Hey, is Johnny there? No, he's not here right now. Who's this? Oh, this is Chris, his girlfriend. Girlfriend? What are you talking about? This is his wife speaking? Oh, hell no. We've been dating for the last eight months. Excuse me? We've been married for the last six years. Yeah, honestly, bro, I'm horny, dog. What's up? Hey, what's oh. poppin'? What do you mean by that? What I'm you 
Why you telling us that? He asked your confession. You horny, I'm horny. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, brother. You have got to be kidding me. You tell Johnny I'm not helping him pay for his mortgage anymore, okay? Tell him I want everything I bought him back, like his Tesla and his product gift certificate I just gave him. And you can tell him I'm removing his ass off my Netflix account. Tell Johnny you called, okay? Uh, welcome to the family, bye! <gasps> that was close. You have been actively committing marriage fraud for money. What exactly is marriage fraud? In my job, if you're married, you get paid significantly more money. So me and one of my buddies decided to just get married. And now I make a bunch of money and I buy him things sometimes and it all works out good for the both of us. At work, I have to kind of tiptoe around the fact that I'm not gay. Well, Scotty, I, I have news for you. If you and your buddy are legally married, there is no fraud being taken place. You don't have to be gay to get married to a man. You, I mean, you did it. I love him also. I love my husband a lot. Ty, and today I'm going to be ending racism once and for all. Ready? Hi. It's for you. Thank you. Hey. All the they are all peace loving people. Amen. Anytime I have the bumble clock in my car, all these straight boys. Trouble. Here at the Grand Canyon with two of my grandkids. Oh. Here at the Grand Canyon with one of my grandkids. <laughs> when he asked me to be his girlfriend. So that long? Yep. So that could be like three months. Could be. So no sex, no kiss? No, I'm not having sex till I'm married. Oh, you're a virgin? Gotcha, bitch. I want two boyfriends, and I want the boyfriends to be boyfriends, and I want to be their girlfriend, and I want the boyfriends to take me out on little boyfriend dates where we're all boyfriends and girlfriends. The other day I kissed a grasshopper using this cool product called Bug Kiss. On the back of the package there was an offer to get this field guide, so I got it. Oh look, there's a grasshopper page, which is what I kissed. Check. Five lips out of five. I wanted to try kissing these fire ants next. It says to use the micro lip attachment, so I had to put that on first. It was hard to pick just one ant to kiss, so I kissed several and thankfully didn't get stung. Check. What else should I kiss? How about this butterfly? I tried sneaking up closer, but I ended up scaring it away. <laughs> this housefly also called for the micro lip attachment, but it too got scared and flew away. How about a spider? Come here. I started getting a little depressed that none of these bugs wanted to kiss me back, but I persevered. I tried this worm next. That was great. Five loops out of five again. I also looked for a cockroach in my garage, and frankly I was a little relieved that I didn't find one. What other bugs should I kiss? Let me know if you want to see more from the field guide. Go. Go get the ball and put it up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See ya. I'm gay. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm glad that you're telling me that right now. Need some help? Hey, what are you driving? This? This here is my Dodge Ram 1500. Did I do it? Did I sound super butch? <laughs> <laughs>
So I've just remembered that time that I applied for the Royal Navy and I forgot they had Britney Spears as my voice mail. Hi, this is Britney Spears and sometimes my friend can't come to the phone and this is one of those times. So leave a message at the beep and baby I'll call you back one more time. And thanks for calling. Good afternoon, Brittany. Uh, this is a message for Callum. Uh, if you could just pass it on to him to A, change his voicemail, and B, if you can get in touch with the Royal Navy, that would be most appreciated. I know. They didn't let me in. This is my boyfriend, Derek. This is Derek's boyfriend, Ben. Wait, sorry, what's the situation? Derek is gay, but he's straight for me, but he's gay for Ben, and Ben's really gay for Derek. And I hate Ben. It's not that complicated. No. Okay, who's ready to have a baby? That would be me. Please, get this thing out of me. We actually have a new system that will relieve your pain while in labor by transferring the pain to the father, if you're up for that. Oh. Yeah, okay, fine. Just get it over with. Okay, we'll start off with 20% going to the father, then. Okay, that's a little better. Whew. Wow, I'm not feeling anything. Turn it up to 40, Doc. Um, excuse me? Oh, you're his dad? Um, I just need your son's number. What? I just need your number. We're together. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, 140. Wow, I like this system. I don't feel anything. Oh, excuse me. Hey, what's up, man? Dude, I feel like I'm passing a kidney stone the size of a watermelon right now. Dude, you need to get that checked. Turn it up to 60, Doc. Oh, it's getting worse! Oh, dude, it's getting what? Turn it to 100, Doc. Me after making sure all of her gay friends are really gay. Yes, sir? Yes. You see this man here? Uh, yes. Well, he's my son. What's happening? And Dominic here is not just his friend. No. He's his boyfriend. Mom. Or a lover or partner. Okay. They do sex things. Ooh. He puts it in his butt. No, that's not... That's... Or maybe he puts it in his butt. It doesn't oh, matter. This is so much it's A-OK -okay with me. I want to tell him my son is gay and I'm proud. And I always have been. Very proud. I have gay parents. And so... It's February. Church. Yeah. Wouldn't they do that in June? What? Be gay? It's not like a timeline thing. You know, it's you're just, if you're gay, you're just, you're kind of gay. I'm always gay time. in June just because I thought we all had to be. No, that's not how that works. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well, now you're educated. I was part of a parade. <laughs> Owner of the house. Can you see me? I can see you. Oh, perfect. Is your brother-in-law supposed to be here? Yes, he is. Okay, Did my cool. neighbors call? I forgot to yeah. tell them. No, um, no, there, there's a some sort of mix-up. I'm sure he'll tell you the full story, but if no one's in any trouble, and we'll we'll let him go, come on in. Okay, perfect. Thank you. The name of the club. I can't remember, but it's all right. I'm all right. <laughs> Yeah. What happened? Hey. Sorry. That's uh, right. I feel bad. I jumped your neighbor's fence thinking it was your house. Cause <gasps> the garage. So, yeah, he called the cops on me. Understandably. So today I learned that in the late 1800s, early 1900s, the Navy became concerned about possible homosexual activity among their sailors. <gasps> Outrageous! So they sent in decoys, whose job was to pretend to want to engage in homosexual activity in order to find gay sailors. Except then the job of decoy got popular. Like, really popular. Like, <laughs> worryingly 
popular. Reports said that the decoys were performing their jobs with much enthusiasm and zeal. <laughs> Eventually, the Navy decided to just stop. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, see? It's okay. Shh. Easy. See? It's good, isn't it? You little fucking shit. He's a mean bastard. This is Eric, and Eric is so handsome, and this is one of the best suits I've ever made. Can we zoom in just like me? Eric likes tight, 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 and I love tight. I love gift wrapping people into gorgeous suits. It has everything. My signature one button, a, whole, a bone button, American bone button with a secondary button and mother of pearl. My narrow peak lapel with a deep press stitch. Uh. Yo, use a bitch, I'm hard like I'm stroking on some dick. Undersized pocket flaps, kissing ticket pocket, the absolute works, 4D fit, dip into the back, pop vent. Let me show you the inside. It is just glorious. He's going to Singapore and Kuala Lumpur, so minimalistic lining, super thin, thin, thin. But the best part is the pants. Eric's ass is like no ass. Look at the baby. Can we zoom in? Absolutely glorious, like two planets. Eric, I know you like tight. Are you happy? Absolutely, man. You dare disobey me, Coraline! Ah! Ah! Over. Oh. Oh, mother. Danny, hands like this, one set of fingers up, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking with LGM. Ingredients. Beat my meat. And now we feed. So, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>